Hello YouTube viewers and random Doctor Who fans. Exciting times. So something that has been teased for a very, very long time, something that will make me incredibly happy, has finally been announced and been put up for pre-order. It is, of course, the Roberto Replica's Laser Screwdriver Replica. This is the Roberto Props Instagram, and as you can see, it has been teased for a very, very long time. Let's see, there's more pictures here. Look, there's the emitter. Doesn't that look amazing? Oh, there it is. It's so good. So good. But of course, today, and there was another picture there as well, of uh, the photography happening, and it just looks marvellous, doesn't it? And there it is. The Robert So Replicas Laser Screwdriver. This thing looks amazing. This went up for pre-order quite recently. It was actually uh, Matt Libs, or Matt Lives, I suppose, could be either, uh, on Twitter that's, that told me that it's finally up for pre-order. Here it is on the Roberto Replicas official website. I wish I could make these pictures bigger. Unfortunately, I can't. But if I scroll through them, they just look so damn good. Like, I love seeing it open and shut where you can see the, the three little barrels here collapse into this section and then the whole thing slides down into the body. It just looks so well, doesn't it? There's the little certificate of authenticity there too. Just looks amazing. And then there is some blurb on the side here. It is quite pricey, I will say that much. Uh, that The 497.50, that's just the 50% pre-order price. You know, the, the full price of this is almost a thousand pounds, which is a bit steep, I think. Then again, you know, we're going through a cost of living crisis. Everything's very expensive. What do you expect, really? And that's on top of having to pay shipping and VAT as well. But uh, there is a little bit of a blurb here. There's a lot of this that makes me very excited. Now, this is based on the Dr. Falls version of uh, the laser screwdriver. There was originally two made. It's all explained on the website. You can take a look at it for yourself. But there were two made for Last of the Time Lord, Sound of Drums. And then there was like parts of a third one made. Nick put the, the parts of the third one together and created a whole new laser screwdriver and that's what John Sim used in the Doctor Falls. That's what this is based on. Um, and I don't care because it looks exactly like the one that we saw all the way back in 2007. Um, I absolutely fell in love with it. I went out and bought the Character Options toy whenever it was first released in Argos in 2007. As a 17 year old, I bought this. And I carried it around with me. Like, this replaced the character option Sonic Screwdriver in my pocket for a very long time. Because I was just obsessed with it. Like, I remember watching uh, Last of the Time Lords on BBC One all those years ago. I taped it. I remember playing the tape back and pausing it. There was a section where the Doctor uses his uh, Space Jesus bars to knock it out of the Master's hand. It goes skittering across the, uh, the floor. And I paused it. And it was that, you know that video VHS, like type of pausing thing um, and I just got so obsessed with it just pausing that over and over again getting a better look at it tried building my own out of old beer tins and bits of stuff didn't look good didn't look good at all um, but yeah I, I, I just I tracked the character options just religiously waiting for this to finally get a release date uh, and it came out sort of Around the end of 2007, I think it showed up in the Argos catalog. And I was just so happy with it. I think it's one of the coolest props in Doctor Who history. And I am so happy that at long last we get our chance to get a replica of this from Rubber Toe Replicas. Um, I think there's no, it's, it's only 300 being made. So there's, there's not a lot of them. But I'm happy that I managed to get my pre-order in there uh, to pick this up. Uh, to be honest... I know it's this cost of living crisis on and people don't have a lot of money and you know it's it's sad but uh, I'd remortgage my house to get one of these you know like um, I've, I've scaled back in my prop collecting but I had to go for this I definitely had to because as much as I love the character options toy I've got to go for the the prop replica and who better than the people that made them like there's there's a lot of things that make me very very happy about this uh, I know we're getting a machine mill base where the like, so this sort of end section slots into so you can display it upright easy now uh, <laughs> uh, yeah the uh, the emitter section slides into the body of the head section and then obviously it clips down into place this has uh, this is worn quite thin over the years of me using it uh, and also we're getting the character option sound chip so it will make the sounds and lights that this one makes so it does the whole 
and it'll do the uh, the aging effect as well with the LEDs as well. It says there's four LEDs in it, which is quite interesting. Like I thought it was always just LED per barrel, but apparently not. Uh, I hope this does something, the little twisty turny bit at the bottom that he uses to uh, to set the the aging thing for the doctor. I guess you could call it. Uh, would have been nice uh, if that made a sound, but I'm guessing because they're just they're using the character option sound chip. It'll be exactly the same features that's in this. Uh, only it'll be lovely and, and aluminium and brass and it'll look gorgeous and it'll have a nice heft to it and, and uh, the emitter part will slide down, you know. Um, yeah, so I'm really, really happy. I think this, this looks really great. What do you guys make of this? I'd love to hear your thoughts uh, in the comments section below. Um, and you better bet your bottom dollar I'm going to be doing a review on this as soon as I get my hands on it. I think I'm lucky enough to have gotten within the sort of first-ish batch of these whenever they get released. So I hope to have it quite soon. Like, I know like they, they said, like, final payments in autumn or something like that. I don't know if that's whenever that's going to be the release date. But I am hoping to get it by year's end and get a review done on it. Um, I also have a tissue compression, compression eliminator on order from Scarecrow Props, but he's been decking me around for the past two years, and I've had enough of it, James. James, I've had enough. I want my tissue compression eliminator. Come on, man. Deal's the deal. I've paid my money. Where is it? Uh, so it would be really nice to get that, plus have the laser screwdriver as well, so I can... I can have this lovely kind of, oh look, here's what the Master's new death machine looks like, here's what the old death machine looks like, and they're both highly collectible, wonderful, detailed, proper replicas, so it would be really nice to get those around the same time and uh, and get reviews done of them, I guess. But yes, uh, please do let me know what you think in the comments section below, give the video a like if you want to, it would be great, YouTube's been a dick lately screwing around with algorithms and all that wonderful stuff. So that's why I have to warble now at the end of videos and keep constantly talking because apparently YouTube doesn't like shorter videos anymore since they introduced that shorts feature. So I have to sit here and talk and talk and talk like a dick, uh, making a fool out of myself and tripping over my own words. But yeah, that's right. That's another thing I wanted to talk about as well. Um, there seems to be like a, a seam on it, like there is on the toy. I don't know, like my webcam is kind of crap and horribly overexposed at the moment but I don't even know if it'll if it'll focus on it but if we look at the at the proper replica I don't know if you can see it because the image is quite small but if you take a look there you can see there is a seam on it what well, looks to be a seam anyway and I think that's really weird because I thought it would just be you know all machined and milled as opposed to like two separate pieces that that connect together so that's quite strange but yeah, don't know why that's there. I don't know if that's there in the original prop or not. If you know, you know where to tell me, don't you? Um, and also, I love that it has the proper micro switch on the side of it as well, like the activation button, because uh, this part was just to extend it, you know? And I love that sound. Like, I, I hope that carries over as well. I know it's probably something that was added in in post, but just that chink, you know? I think that'd be great. Like, even the toy does it. Listen. You hear that? Oh, lovely. So yeah, that's um, that's it. That's that's me talking about the laser screwdriver, weathering on like a moron. Um, yeah, I think it looks great. I've got one on order. I'm going to a review. I think it looks class. Bye. <laughs> oh, hang on, I know how to end this video.